In the world of ductless heating and cooling, there is a new star rising. The YMGI supermodel with a brilliantly designed sleek appearance stands head and shoulders above the competition. Available in 80 and 90,000 BTU models, they offer a broad range of flexibility for any user. These beauties can be matched with any of YMGI's indoor units in this series to provide the perfect team that will meet all your heating and cooling needs. The supermodel can be fitted to condition from 2 all the way up to 8 zones in the 80CH model and 9 zones in the 90CH, making it the perfect choice for residential or light commercial applications. In this video, we will cover the installation practices that are exclusive to the YMGI supermodel line. The topics covered will include setting the unit, piping, wiring, startup, and diagnostics. You may also want to check out our other videos detailing the full installation process. These videos are only intended to clarify the installation process set forth in the installation manual. To ensure the greatest chance for a successful installation, combine a well laid out system design with reading and following the instructions listed in the unit's installation manual. Before setting the unit, determine the direction you will be running your piping and electrical wiring. The Supermodel series offers wiring and piping knockouts on the front of the unit, wiring knockouts at the side of the front panel, wiring and piping on the side, and a piping knockout at the rear panel of the unit. When selecting a location for mounting the outdoor condensing unit, be sure it is level with enough room to allow for proper airflow through the unit and for easy servicing. In our installation, we will be running the piping out the rear and are wiring through the front side panel. The liquid and suction line piping will run from the outdoor unit to each of the distribution boxes. Each outdoor unit can be connected with up to three distribution box units. Our distribution boxes are available in two and three zone capabilities. This allows greater versatility in the amount of indoor units that can be connected to the system. The distribution box shown in our example connects to the piping by means of brace connections. The unit you install could be shipped with flare connections. The procedures for both are similar. In the supermodel series, the metering device has been moved from the outdoor unit to the distribution box to accommodate higher unit efficiency and control. When choosing a location to mount the distribution box, choose an area that will allow enough room for safely installing all piping, wiring, and drainage. Also allow enough room for easy servicing of the unit. In our example, we installed the boxes in an open warehouse area. These units can be installed in closets, above drop ceilings, in attics, basements, or in other areas where space permits. If you are installing an open cavity distribution box, like the unit in our example, mount the unit level in a horizontal position. After the box is mounted, the drain pan must be removed if the unit has brace connections to prevent the melting of the pan. Now we are ready to connect the tubing from the outdoor unit to the distribution boxes. The connection points of the condensing unit are 3 quarter and 3 eighth inch flare connections. We chose to have our line set exit the unit from the rear and fed it under the raised compressor mounting base. The piping from the condensing unit feeds into branch dividers before going to the distribution boxes. The branch dividers are formed to accommodate several sizes of tubing. Choose the tubing size you will be connecting to and cut the divider to the proper size. Properly prepare and braze the connections. In order to isolate the distribution boxes from the rest of the system for possible future servicing, we installed stop valves at the inlet of each box. Use caution when brazing at the distribution boxes to prevent possible heat damage to the components inside the box. In this installation, we chose to use our optional line set covers to improve the appearance and to provide an extra measure of support for our copper line sets. With the distribution boxes connected to the outdoor unit, connect all copper line sets between the distribution boxes and their respective indoor units. Now that all piping connections are complete, check for leaks throughout the system. If you isolated the distribution boxes as we did, you can check between the outdoor unit and the distribution boxes for any leaks first, then between the boxes and the indoor units. YMGI recommends a positive pressure check of no less than 250 pounds of nitrogen for at least one hour, followed by a negative pressure check of 500 microns for no less than 30 minutes. Be sure to secure the outdoor unit to the pad to help eliminate any vibration of the unit. In the supermodel series, the outdoor unit and each distribution branch unit are powered separately with their own power supply and breaker. Verify the polarities of all the power supplies are the same. Different polarities at the units could cause a communication error to occur, 
This is denoted by an E6 on the condensing unit's digital display. The communication wiring from the outdoor unit will go to the ODU terminal on distribution branch unit 1. To feed another branch unit, connect the next communication cable to the BU terminal and install the other end of the cable to the ODU terminal of the next branch unit. Repeat the previous steps for another branch unit if necessary. At the same time as you install the communication cable in each branch unit, you will need to set the address code for that unit. Failure to do so will result in an E6 communication error code. To set the address code for each branch unit, simply find the address code key on the back of the electric box cover next to the wiring diagram. Set the dip switch to reflect the desired address of the branch unit. After setting the dip switch, place a check mark in the box that marks the desired address. Repeat these steps for each branch unit. Connect the wiring between the indoor and branch units in the same way as you would our other inverter driven systems. Use special care to ensure each wire zone is matched to the same pipe zone, and that all wires are connected to the same terminals in both the indoor and branch units. After successfully passing both leak tests, correctly connecting all power and communication wiring and setting the address codes for each branch unit, close all distribution boxes before starting the unit. Slowly release the refrigerant into the system, then start the system. Begin by turning on only one indoor unit at a time, rotating through each indoor unit for each distribution box until all the units on all the zones have been tested individually. Next, bring on all the indoor units for one zone. Rotate through the branches just like you did with the individual indoor units. Finally, start the entire system by progression. Turn on each unit at a time until the complete system is operational. We advise building this box by box to verify for a final time that there are no conflicts or issues in any part of the system. Check the unit refrigerant pressure against the temperature pressure chart listed in the manual. Adjust the charge if necessary. Adjustment directions can be found in the installation manual. After testing your unit, complete all the information on the manufacturer's warranty registration and technician checklist and return it to YMGI within seven days. The YMGI Supermodel features an onboard diagnostic LED display that monitors and displays the unit output during normal operation and error codes if the unit suffers a malfunction. Several of the more common codes are listed on the side of the unit. If you are unable to locate the code, more codes are listed in the back of the installation manual. If you are unable to locate any code after checking both the unit sticker and manual, contact YMGI Technical Support. The codes listed here indicate normal unit operation. These are a few of the more common error codes that you might see. As you can see, the YMGI Supermodel is a true beauty of a system that can handle any heating and cooling need. By following the instructions in the installation manual and those highlighted in this video, you will be ensured of a long, reliable relationship with this supermodel. Thank you for watching our video. It is our hope that the information given here will help clarify the installation process of YMGI's supermodel for you.